Hello, how are you today? So today I'm going to do one of my favorite daytime makeup looks. I'm gonna start out with sunscreen because sunscreen is the most important thing you can do for your skin. I don't care what age you are, you need to wear sunscreen every single day. It is the best thing you can do to keep looking good well into your 60s and 70s. This is Thrive Cosmetics Sunproof Invisible Firming Sunscreen. It's an SPF 37. You use whatever sunscreen you like. I like this one because it is very, very invisible. <laughs> Now the look that I am doing has no foundation. I have really been disliking the way foundation looks on my skin as I'm getting older. So I'm using less and less of it. If you feel that you need foundation, absolutely utilize foundation. But if you feel that you can get away with less, you're gonna be surprised at how much easier your makeup is and how much more you like yourself in it. So that is my foundation. Now I'm going to cover up any red spots or discolorations that I have using a cream concealer. This is by, this is not the one I want. Yikes. I'm using a cream concealer from NARS. This is in the shade Canel. You wanna go as close as you can to your skin tone. I always have some red around my nose. So we're gonna get right in there and feather that out. I'm gonna feather that out with a broader brush and continue a little bit of it up onto my nose because my nose can also be a little bit red. But I wanna keep all of the natural tone of my cheeks. And you can, if you want to thin that out even more, a very wet beauty blender can help blend that out just a little bit further. Sometimes I have a little pink on my chin. Sometimes just a little bit up here. Not much, just Now around my eyes, I have a lot of blue. You could utilize the same concealer if you like. I am using my Joe Blasco Orange Highlight. It is a blue neutralizer and I find it especially effective for my very dark circles under my eyes. I don't get too much out in this area. It's a thick concealer. So I just paint on just where I need it. and then feather it out. And rather than applying a lot of eyeshadow, I use my own natural tones as my eyeshadow, and I just use a very light concealer, lighter than your own skin, just and you can see the difference in how that draws the eye up versus no concealer. So let's get this other eye done. Painting in just where we need it. Feathering in or 
feathering out, depending on how you want to phrase it. That's a little much. You can see I got a little too much on there that time. Lots of times I will use either a stainless steel palette or the back of my hand as a palette just so I can get a smaller amount. Not everyone needs a setting powder. I do have very oily skin and I like, I like the mattifying blurring effect that you get from a powder. I'm using NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. And I have one of these as a gift for you. For, let's see, whoever leaves the 104th comment. So the 104th comment gets one of these. It does come with its own little puff. I have lost my puff, so I'm using a puff. We'll add a little bit of blush, not that we need much because we're keeping our natural skin tone. Now, if you use a cream blush, obviously use that before your powder. I have never gotten the hang of cream blush, so just a little bit right on the cheekbones, not much. And you know I'm a fan of tight lining, but I found that black looks really harsh. So a lot of times I'm tight lining, I'm using a very dark brown or even navy blue. Navy blue is beautiful for tight lining. And what's nice, if you don't want to tight line the whole way, you can just take right from the corner of your eye and just give yourself a little, little faux wing. And by pulling straight out, it's a little more flattering to a hooded eye than doing a cat eye. And that's the major eyeliner that I will do most days. I struggle with my eyebrows. So I try to do the least amount I can. Now I have them microbladed and I regret that because it's a very red tone. But I find that doing just a very small amount of correction on your eyebrows, you don't need to draw the whole thing in. Using just an angled brush, go in with something that's a very similar color to your natural tone and really just draw out the end a little. That's a little dark. And then underneath there, and then right at the beginning. So you're not like putting in a whole new brow. You're just filling in and correcting a little tiny bit. For basic daytime makeup, I'm not doing any contour. I'm not doing any highlight. This is just a good, clean, natural beauty. With, you know, eight steps. I know that everyone loves a matte lipstick, but I find that I like a highlighting lipstick. This is from Thrive Cosmetics, and I love that it's just, it's so, sheer and fresh. And you can line if you want. But 
but I, there's something to be said for an unlined lip and just a sheer, fresh, natural lipstick. So it's very youthful and fresh and not harsh. Give our lashes a quick curl. And mascara. I do still use a black mascara, but brown mascara definitely can be a little more youthful. Uh, so choose whatever you like, but I, I love the blackest black, the darkest black. I want the most, the most lashes. And yes, sometimes it's a little bit harsh. hair in there. There you are. And there you have it. Just a basic daytime makeup to go out with your skin protected and look your very best. Thank you for watching. I love you bunches. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will talk to you very soon. And number 104 on the comments gets a free setting powder.